What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Work With Me. Um, we are going to be loading four of these wonderful auto part pallets onto that guy that's sitting out there with that little blinking light on the ground. He's about to come in after the Southwest 737 turns off. It's a Falcon 20. Really neat airplane. A business jet from the 70s, late 70s. Uh, he just turned his light on there. So he's going to pull in here, and uh, I'll have you guys along with me to to load them up. I'll be uh, loading them with a forklift. So, we'll uh, watch them come in here. They got a unique sound to them because they're turbofan. Turbofan engines. Like I said, they have a really unique sound for y'all. Pretty awesome. So I know I didn't get a, a vlog out yesterday, so that's why I'm doing it today. I wanted to get it out yesterday, but you know, sometimes those things just don't happen. I don't know what kind of angle I'm gonna get, so I apologize, I gotta do my job, so. I have it mounted on my chest here. I don't know what kind of uh, angles we'll get or whatnot, but uh, we'll do our, we'll do our or damned us to get the best we can, right? <laughs> you know it, as always. Glad you guys are enjoying the uh, videos this week so far. Uh, whew, okay. So me number one. Tricky thing with these airplanes is uh, we got to, um, when we do load these, we have to make sure our blades aren't sticking out the ends because it's a really shallow uh, cargo door on her all she can see as we pull up to it four four there's chalk on her huh is there a chalk on her I guess not can't believe they don't have their own nose can chalks they usually do Usually do. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> Cold. A lot colder than I thought it would be. Yeah. My 
right, Claire, I'm not sticking out on there, am I? No. Okay. Perfect. I want to skate these for sure. I'll put skates underneath them. This is the first time I've seen some this weight. What? So it's the first time I've seen them this about this weight. Kind of heavy, just a tad heavy. <laughs> right. Ready. So clear? I hear no communication back there. Go to the right? Well, you know we don't have side shift, so I gotta redo it. So you know we don't have side shift. Yeah, I know. Oh, you don't? Nope. I can get close to the door. I mean, it's gonna be about an inch. Yeah. Great to know beforehand. What? What are you gonna do whenever you're in the blind? Yeah, I know. I'm going as close as I can without hitting the damn airplane. Four more? Yeah. Looks like we're hitting something. Are we hitting something or what's going on? Here. I mean, I really don't have any room on the right. All right, you can come back a little bit. Well, actually, no one. That's perfect. There he goes down. You got your skate under? Yep. All right. When you go in, what you got to do is kind of go trip over an angle. Yeah, no, I just don't like these tops, personally. So now what you do on these airplanes. Loading these, I've been loading these little Falcons for shit since you know 2000 and 2002, three, whatever we want to call it. Pretty long time. I've dealt with them quite a bit. They're tight fits, especially with the thing. The problem is these are really wide. These normally aren't that wide. The type of skids we put on these Falcons, and uh, that is not proven to be the case tonight. It's a very tight fit, so. And some airlines have this bit, those big green bins on the left, and some don't. That kind of changes the game a little bit. Just a tad and a hair. So yeah, glad you guys are have been enjoying my videos lately, and FSX has made its return, which is currently only Tuesdays and Thursdays until I can get more time. Um, I just, I'm so tight on time to get what I already do out, and I really want to get two videos out a week, or a week, two videos a day out during the week for you guys, so that's where my focus has been. Um, I actually met that goal this weekend, uh, actually just working over the weekend, course of actually maybe a day and a half, uh, recording-wise, and 
editing everything out on uh, Monday and pushing it out the door. I mean, it was, uh, it was a hell of a task. I didn't think I could do it, but we did it. I did it. I, I set my goal and I nailed it. So um, that's why this vlog is running a little late because I, I meant to upload it last night, but nothing really happened last night at work. So um, I didn't have anything to record. So tonight we have this charter. Of, I always try to find new, you know, fresh new things that are coming up for you guys. So that's the reason why there wasn't one last night. So I'm making up for you. I'm making it up for you. I plan on doing vlogs on Mondays and Fridays. Uh, but, you know, if I feel like doing one, I'll do one too. So, fun fact, for some reason my Avis X uh, thumbnails did not load. Didn't upload to YouTube. I, I put them on there. Didn't upload to YouTube for some stupid reason. I don't know why. Not sure why. Boy, these are like a giant pain in the ass to, to load at this point. Airplane tonight. I'm gonna go a little to the right. Just a tad to the right here. I actually usually don't have anybody there at the door with me, so I do this all by myself. And the pilots usually, they put uh, these those skates underneath them so they slide back a lot easier. It's like the type of material, the floor in there is the type of material like those X looking pattern, uh, that metallic piece that you see on a lot of toolboxes on the back of pickup trucks. That's exactly what the uh, the flooring is on those in there. If you were wondering. Just waiting on him to get those in position and putting the straps on. Then we'll be back in business. Come on, man, you're holding up the show here, so I'm ready to go.
Nothing pisses me off more in the working force, especially in this particular job when it's a silence. That's bad. Communication and safety of the airplane, of the load, and all that is so important. I don't want people to just not tell me what's going on in the front because I can't fucking see when it's in the air, you know? I don't think they get that. That's the 402. Honestly, these airplanes do not take this long to load. It's just this is some heavy crap and just unusual for this type of airplane. Not very fun when, it, when it's that the case. When it's the case of that. I think you guys get the gist of it. That's that's what it's like loading one of these. I'm not gonna record the rest of it. No need to. Um, it's obviously taking a little a little longer than normal, so uh, I'm gonna get back here and just get this done. But again, thanks for uh, for watching the videos during the week, guys. I've been enjoying it, um, and I'll uh, talk to you all soon.